Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading for you guys. I love these ones because these are just open, you know, like an open channel for the universe to come in and say whatever is needed. Whatever message is needed here. So it could be in regards to love, it could be in regards to money, it could be in regards to both. Take it as it resonates for you if it does. All right, guys, so let's begin. Let's take the jumping cards. So I'm going to take the ones that jump and fall on the table, not the ones that fall around me. <laughs> and I'm going to take them upright. Universe, please let us know what are the most relevant messages for Pisces. If you haven't subscribed just yet, Pisces, please make sure to subscribe. By the way, I don't tell, I don't take the ones that flip either, just don't get fall on the table. Remember that we have our 50% off sale going on right now. Alright, first card coming up, Five of Cups. So Pisces, this is a sense of grief. This is um, crying over spilled milk. So maybe something happened happened recently. In the recent past, maybe in the last month or so, maybe you're feeling very saddened about it still. You're feeling like you can't let go, like you can't move on, it seems. Like something has got you sort of, it's holding you back or pulling you down. It may be something that, you know, is spilled milk in a way. Something that is done and over with. But maybe you're having a really hard time letting it go. So grief, sadness could be very present in your life right now. A general sense of dissatisfaction due to something that happened or didn't, you know, didn't happen that also created that sense of grief. Then we've got the king of coins. Pisces, you could be dealing perhaps with a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. Maybe you are um, dealing with someone who values their stability quite a bit. Someone who moves slowly, who likes routine, having good habits, having their physical world sort of like under control. Maybe you are working on all of these aspects of your life yourself. And you, yourself, are becoming this King of Pentacles in your life. Being more responsible in, your, in regards to your routine, your energy, your work, your health, your money. Whoa, all right. Queen of Coins. Some of you are definitely dealing here with an Earth sign. However... I see here with the Queen of Coins and the King of Coins and this sadness in between that maybe there is there are two people who feel wonderful together, who should be together. Or at least that's how it's perceived by you and people around. Like the perfect match for each other. And there could be sadness here because for some reason there is this separation. It's like instead of these cards coming united... There's a sadness in between the two. These are two very stable people. These are two very grounded, responsible people. They're both in a good place in life. But there's this sadness, this grief that is separating this union. Or this grief that is in between the two. So something may have happened between you and an earth sign or any other sign. Something may have happened... And you're sad about it. And there's a separation here. There is confusion, perhaps. This is a card of secrets. This is a card of the subconscious mind. Things being under the surface, being partially illuminated to a point in which maybe you kind of understand what's going on. Or you may completely be misreading the situation. You know, it's, it's kind of like when you're at night somewhere and there is the subtle glow of the moon you can sort of see where you're walking but not really like if you see a rock it could totally be a frog 
or vice versa, you know. If you see um, a flower, it can totally be just a piece of paper over a bush or something. It's very easy to misinterpret what you're seeing. So with the moon card here, I would definitely say, first of all, that the full moon, the next full moon, whenever that is, is going to be very beneficial in bringing clarity. But right now, it seems like there needs to be a bridge cross, crossed to understand what is going on. Because there is this deep sadness. Very deep sadness that stems from confusion. Some of you could be also dealing perhaps with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The feminine energy here could be um, wanting to rush things, go really quickly, full speed ahead, perhaps in a connection. And when I mean connection, it can be romantic, but it can also be perhaps a partnership, work, family. You know, it could be in any context that makes sense to you. It seems like the feminine wants to really rush things, go really quickly. So quickly that it can be a little bit irresponsible or sloppy in their approach. Ten of Cups. And then the masculine is really desiring to build this happily ever after. This complete joy. This, this Ten of Cups, you know, this is the highest form of emotional success. Being as happy as it gets, pretty much. Maybe they want to sort of get out of the water, the deep emotion. Because if you see here, she is in the water. And there's this hand pulling her down by her hair. And in the water, she's sad. And we see these figures here that are still in the water. Long hair too. So water is emotion, so deep emotion. And they seem to be kind of like the same color as she as she is wearing. And then we see this other couple who's up there in solid ground with a child and much love and warmth. And they seem to be very dry. <laughs> Not and when I mean dry, I mean you know, if emotion is water and they are dry, it means that they are in a very stable sort of perspective in regards to their emotions. At least that's how I see it. So maybe the masculine here wants to go slow in order to achieve that Ten of Cups. And maybe the feminine wants to jump in rather irresponsibly, I guess, could be said. The Empress. Lots of feminine energy. The Empress is basically advising you, Pisces, to trust that everything is going to happen exactly as it should. And this is so cliche, but cliches are cliches for a reason. <laughs> because they're true, you know, and they are spoken about a lot because they're true. What do you want me to say? Um, trust. Trust divine timing. Trust. Surrender. Allow. Flow. Let it be. You're going to let go of the difficult emotions rather quickly, and so is that person if they're experiencing them. Queen of Swords, being objective, being, it's like the feminine here is letting things happen, letting things flow, letting the chips fall where they may, and then the masculine is very structured, almost cold, emotionless, they're setting boundaries that are not bendable or breakable. <laughs> They are very fixated on how they want things to go and the step-by-step -step process that they want to get to their happily ever after. Whether it is with the feminine that we see here or whether it is on their own. But it's like they're very close to, sort of close-minded. Like they want what they want, how they want it. And that's how they want to manifest it. That's how they want to manifest their emotional success. Whereas the feminine is just sort of letting it all happen. Then we've got the magician. Could be a Gemini. The magician 
is letting me know that both the feminine and the masculine here, showing up, seem to be wanting to manifest their happiness. Not necessarily together, but their happiness, their individual happiness. And both people seem to be growing, evolving, manifesting, succeeding. But there is this sense of sadness in regards to one another. This is letting me know that whatever it is that you want to manifest, Pisces, you can manifest it. And so can they. These two people are very powerful here. Wow, I've got the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo. The sun has been coming up in all, almost all of your reading spices, and that is such an incredible good sign of an abundant time to come. Happiness, joy, health, good health, lots of success, lots of clarity as well. So if you are confused right now, don't worry. Things are going to clear up. You are even going to manifest uh, a sense of clarity here within you with or without the consent of the other person like you're gonna find your own clarity on how to create the life that you want three of cups there is going to be a lot of celebration here in the individual life of these people okay so whether you are the feminine or the masculine, woman or man, doesn't matter. Um, you're going to have a lot to celebrate. And they are going to have a lot to celebrate. Whoever it is that you're dealing with. Some of you guys could be involved in a third party situation. Could be the case. Someone could be sad because someone is with another person. Maybe there's a lack of clarity. Are we in a third party situation? Are we not? Like, I kind of feel like they have someone, but I'm not sure. This could be sort of like a temporary connection that they don't take too seriously. Nine of Cups. I think that both of you, whoever this person is, both of you seem very grateful and very happy for the things that individually you have achieved. You may even feel proud of the other person for some reason. You know, you may feel like they are growing stronger, more capable, you know, in their own life, in their own projects. You may feel happy for them and they may feel happy for you. And I think you feel happy in regards to yourself too. There is lots of growth and with the sun here, it's like I see everyone here in a good place. You are being guided to have a new beginning, okay? There's a new beginning that is going to be coming here, coming in soon. A new beginning in your life could have to do with moving, traveling, or fast incoming communication. Something that excites you, something that makes you happy. So if this has something to do with this person, maybe they're going to be communicating quickly, very, very soon, and I'm telling you to start a new beginning with them, start a new phase of this connection, okay? If that's not the case, you yourself are going to be finding something very inspiring. Something that feels like a big change. Like the beginning of something major in your life that is going to be evolving very quickly, okay? Very successfully, too. of cups all right Pisces. so this would be you very grounded and stable in your intuition in your emotions in your all-seeing sort of like connection to spirit in her eyes i see almost as though she was blind you know some people that are blind have it seems almost like a like a veil like a yeah like a white veil over their eyes i think it's not the case for everybody correct me if i'm wrong i'm super ignorant in regards to this but the impression she is giving me is that she's physically blind but she's incredibly powerful in seeing through her third eye 
Some of you listening to this could potentially be blind or losing your vision. That is not going to affect at all your connection to spirit or your intuition. It's going to grow only stronger. That's a message here for whoever this may resonate with. You may be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, perhaps. In regards to a third party situation or the possibility of one, someone here could potentially fall into a victim's mentality. So be careful with that. And be careful with not letting yourself be drowned by your emotions, good or bad. Try to stay in control. Open hearted, but in control. Now we've got judgment and the wheel of fortune. So there may be an important decision that is going to be made here. You're going to be making an important decision to move into the future, to move towards your happiness. Maybe this other person is going to also be making an important decision for them. Each of you seem to want to choose what's best for yourselves. Not necessarily for each other. It's like maybe that person is really focusing on their own growth and you are too on your own growth. It's not that important. I don't know. It's like the connection that you have may be second place. In comparison to the self-love they're giving themselves and you're giving yourself, which, you know, that actually makes sense. Like, that's probably as it should be. But I don't think that you're together. I feel like there is this uh, sense of sorrow separating here. With the Wheel of Fortune, we see this guy sort of celebrating, it seems. So I find that maybe by you focusing on yourself and this person focusing on themselves, somehow, really quickly, a new beginning is going to sort of magically happen, which is meant to be here with the Wheel of Fortune. I see success for same-sex relationships. Strength. Some of you could definitely be dealing with a Leo here. This is very interesting because this beast has the body of a lion but the face of an alligator, which is, or a crocodile. That's very interesting. I don't necessarily know what to make out of that. But the strength card lets us know that you are stronger, not through physical force, not through forcing things. You're stronger when you're connected to spirit, when you are trusting that what needs to happen will, and that ultimately the best thing that can happen for you is what's going to happen, whether you like it or not. And that's a good thing because it is the best thing that can happen to you. You know, it's like that saying goes, the journey is extremely easy for those who have no preferences. It's our preference that makes suffering appear. Okay. One last card here. Over Pisces. One well, last card, Spirit for Pisces. The Seven of Wands. Keep working. Keep doing you, Pisces. Focus on yourself. Stand your ground. Stand your truth. If your truth is that you love this person and that you're interested, ground yourself in that truth. But don't give it your energy or your emotions if you are not yet together. You know what I mean? Like, if you're separated from this person and they're doing them and you're doing you. And you're interested and they're not, or maybe you're not interested and they are. Pretty much stick to the same truth that you have been speaking of. Like, be consistent. If you've said that you don't want this right now, then continue to say that you don't want this right now. If you previously stated that you are interested, then continue to express that you are interested. But don't force it. Don't devote yourself to prove it. Just do you. And it's funny. It's so... 
by it's like they're doing them and you're doing you and you're parallel and somehow that is actually going to bring you two together <laughs> which is very interesting so it's like let's say that part of the way in which you consider to uh express self-love to yourself is going to the gym maybe they feel the same way and maybe through going to the gym you reconnect and, and end up together which wouldn't happen if you weren't focusing on your health and they weren't focusing on their health you know what i mean it's like through individual self-love, somehow you connect to this person. All right, so Pisces, this is what I have for you today. I hope that this could maybe bring some clarity to you or some help in any way. If it didn't, there is ton, there are tons of readings that I post on the weekends and on daily basis. They're all timeless, so you can check them all out. And choose the one that resonates with you um, through the title, all right? We have a 50% off sale, you guys. Make the most out of it. This is the Mother's Day sale. We are going to be offering as well a coupon code in which by purchasing two online courses of $24.99 each, which is the 50% off price, you can get your guided higher self meditation absolutely free, which is a very powerful experience in which you get to witness your higher self. Instead of just feeling it or letting it work through you, you get to witness it, to experience the power and the beauty of your true self. Instead of the power and beauty of your human self that can be, you know, limited by our perspectives or our desires when we look in the mirror. By doing this and witnessing your higher self in that way, it's very easy for insecurities to sort of melt away. It's a powerful experience. And bottom line, you can get it in the in the store for $9.99 if you like. It's 50% off. And if you want to get it for free and you're interested in any of the other courses, the Abundance Blueprint to heal your relationship with money or the Energy Protection Course to learn how to navigate this reality without being drained by exterior forces or loved ones or people in general, um, if you're interested in any of those, if you get two, you get your free meditation. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your likes, subscribes. Thank you for those who donate. Thank you for all of you. I love you so much, you guys. Thank you so much for everything. I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.